going on YouTube? Jivy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. And if you haven't told yet, or if you haven't realized yet, this is the Andrew McCutcheon review. There are his attributes. Uh, pretty good contact versus right, right-handed hitting outfield. Very good speed, very good fielding, good power against lefties. Not the best vision. Uh, this card honestly performs pretty well, and pretty much I'm just going to talk about over the next couple games how I think Andrew McCutcheon did in my lineup and how I think Andrew McCutcheon would do in your lineup. Uh, right there I miss a slider uh, that honestly I think that if he didn't have 58 vision, I may have been able to hit with a uh, with someone with a little bit higher vision. But nonetheless, we smack one to right field and as you can see, we got the uh, 85 speed with the diving sinshu chu. We're going to be able to turn that into a triple. Uh, not the best PCI placement. Uh, but I was still able to muscle it up and get it to right field pretty deeply. Um, this Andrew McCutcheon card, honestly, you can kind of feel the pop. I didn't have as much success with this card versus right-handed hitters as I would have wanted to. But the success was, it was definitely noticeable. Uh, as you can see there, we're going to split a gap in, another, in a pretty big field, honestly. And you can pretty much expect that from McCutcheon. He's going he, to get a lot of extra base hits. And that's pretty much how he would perform on the field. Uh, there's a ball just sprayed in by Josh Hamilton in left field. Nothing really you can do there. But on the field, this card is very freaking good. 90 fielding, 75 arm strength, 72 arm accuracy. Probably not the strongest arm for right field. But with 88 reaction, this card just performs very well on the field. Uh, and uh, you, you're, the thing about it is... If you have a Ted Williams in left field, a ball like that, you might not get you might not get locked into an animation. With Andrew McCutcheon with his 90 fielding, I felt like he just locked into animations very easy. There's a ball that he's not going to catch, but with that 88 reaction, he charged it very well and a very strong throw to the cutoff to prevent uh, the guy from scoring. There, I told my opponent he, he should have friendly quit because I gave him a friendly quit to start the game and he just would, he he didn't accept and it ended up being a pretty pretty bad game for him. Uh, but um, again. Andrew McCutcheon just sneaking balls in the hole. That's that's pretty much just the power because anybody else, that's a pretty weak ground ball. Um, but, again, there, there were just some bad pitches I chased. And here, Rod Carew just makes a really great play and throws us out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I faced some pretty good pitchers. I faced a Justin Verlander. I faced uh, Corey Klu uh, Kluber card. Uh, I believe he's the one on the mound at the moment. And this Kluber card just absolutely disintegrated me. Uh, I just really didn't know what was coming, what he was doing, and he just made me look foolish, honestly. Uh, I believe on 1-2 I get a uh, changeup. I was sitting dead red on a fastball, and I just completely lunged out. Nothing, that, that really wasn't Andrew McCutcheon's uh, fault there. But what I try to do is I try to play McCutcheon in center field, left field, right field, just so I can get a, a feel for him at all three positions. I even gave each outfielder that I debuted one game at first base as well. Um... Again, my only problem with this card, it's not the contact. The contact is there. 87 versus right, 99 versus left, 72 power versus right, 90 power versus left. Absolutely will crush lefties. I, I noticed that. I played some games on stream with McCutcheon. I definitely noticed that from McCutcheon. But again, it's just the vision is the only issue. There's some pitches that... With a bigger PCI, you're gonna get, but with this Andrew McCutcheon with the small PCI that he has, um, you're not gonna, you're really not gonna feel it. But uh, again, the fielding is there. He will make plays in the outfield. He will get to balls quickly. He'll bring them in. Uh, very, just a very good defensive card. 85 speed. My only problem is I really didn't test his base stealing uh, ability. But 85 speed, 54 stealing. You may have to manually steal with this card. Not the best uh, stealing with this card, so that might be an issue. I I'm not sure. Maybe I'll play a couple more games with him and see what his stealing feels like. But again, I've uh, pretty much gone over his how I feel about him fielding. Look, like that boy, you got Ted Williams out there. He's going to drift around for a little while. Andrew McCutcheon locks into an animation very easily and gets the balls. Uh, even uh, a couple times, like here, ball played down the line, gets it, turns quickly, makes a strong throw to second base, one hop. Perfect on the money. That is what you can expect from this Andrew McCutcheon. Now, I do believe I paid 56000 for this card. It was uh, still fairly new. 
and uh, I just really wanted to get him in the lineup so I can test him out. Here he he has his uh, this guy's got his created player submarine throwing 6'11", five pitch hitting machine. There's Andrew McCutcheon playing first base. I, I I think even at first base he wouldn't have a problem just because he's got 90 fielding. Uh, so yeah, I've I've noticed that uh, that 20% hit it's still a lot better than a lot of first basemen. Uh, but the thing about this Andrew McCutcheon is he's going for 50k at the moment. Or excuse me, when I purchased him he was at 50k at the moment. He is between 46k buy now, 42 sell now. Do I think this Andrew McCutcheon is worth 46k? Uh, I think yes. If you don't have a squad with Ted Williams, Reggie Stalker, uh, you know guys like that, and a couple of the other outfielders that I had, I, I don't rank him first amongst the outfielders that I tested. But a couple of the other outfielders I had, um, I liked a little more mainly because they were lefty bats, and I, I love left-handed batters in this game. Um, but this Andrew McCutcheon, he handles righties, he handles lefties. Again, the only issue is division. Uh, for 46k, I, I would say I pay 35 to you know like 40, 42. Again, I, I bought him just to test him out. But is, is this Andrew McCutcheon a must cop? I think so. He can you can definitely plug him in the outfield. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna make my squad. I don't know. I may keep him on the bench. I'm not 100% sure. But there's a lot of other cards uh, that I just want to test just to try them out and kind of review and see if they're worth the stubs. But what I say, you know, Andrew McCutcheon sits right there to me in that, you know, 35 to maybe 45,000 stub range. Excellent defender, good speed, good reaction in the outfield, and he, he can handle the bat. It, it took me a little bit. I didn't, I didn't hit as well. I played some decent competition again and uh, was made to look foolish, but it wasn't Andrew McCutcheon's fault. I'll take the blame for that. Uh, played with him a little more in stream again, and he performs. The, the card performs. It, it's definitely worth it. Uh, I'd say give him a try. Uh, play a couple games with him, see how you feel. But uh, I would say this card is, is definitely a card you can cop uh, if you can get a good price on him. If, if the price drops down to 35 k go ahead and snatch that card. That's going to be it, guys, for today's Andrew McCutcheon review. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please make sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and peace. They say anything's possible. You got a dream like you've never seen obstacles. Chasing obscene profits of rain. Stop it for the red lights. Look at my review. All I see is niggas' headlights. Catch me if you can, hope. They try and sack me and I scramble. Look up in the sky, you see exactly where I am, bro. Hey, don't you...